Hey guys, Alex Khan here. And there's a really crappy car behind me revving his engine. And this guy in front of me is really, really lost. I think he's gonna do, I don't know what he's doing, some lawn work. Anyways, I'm at Universal Studios in case you hadn't uh, recognized the setting here. And I am gonna uh, take a look and see if the houses are, are running today for HHN. Sometimes, I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna see if they are, but uh, more importantly, I want to try the uh, the pizza fries. I haven't tried them yet, and uh, also uh, I want to go over to Islands of Adventure and see if um, the Atlantean characters are out by by Poseidon's Fury by the entrance, and uh, I'll see what else I can find that that might be uh, new for me. Uh, it might be it might not be new for you guys since uh, you guys are pretty up to date on Universal stuff, but I'm not. But I'm always usually at Disney. Hey guys, always take a picture of where you park because by the end of the day you might forget oh by the way today's uh shirt creature from the black lagoon that i got from the chibi store last week so i've never gotten here this early before for universal so this is uh this is new oh that's what it looks like when you get here too early this will be my first time going through here i'm not gonna lie the fingerprint uh scanning it takes a long time I prefer the the older system during the pandemic where you just swiped your ID. That took forever. I'll go inside. I guess I'll do Bride of Frankenstein first and then I'll hop over to uh, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. I remember last time the uh, the Bride of Frankenstein house had a long line so they sent us over to uh, Tooth Fairy. So we'll try to knock this one out first and then go right to Tooth Fairy. We've got the scare actors going into position. And there's a lot of them. Look at that. Oh, look at that guy. Well, the Bride of Frankenstein's having some cold feet, having some audio issues. I came to uh, uh, Tooth Fairy. We'll do this first, and then we'll do. We'll go back and do Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, look at this entrance. It's so cool looking. So I just did the uh, Tooth Fairy house. It's very awesome. Although I got to say, the people in front of me were, were really taking their time. There was nobody in front of me when I came in. And then I caught up to, to these people. They must have like been taking their time in the rooms. So like the last half of the scares, they didn't really come because I think the people in front of me, they, they kind of messed up the timing. Yeah, they were just like sitting in those rooms. Well, I'm back to Bride of Frankenstein. Hopefully they, they fixed their audio. All right, so I just finished the Bride of Frankenstein house easily. Now it's my favorite house. Before I was kind of, uh, they were both kind of even houses, but now I think Bride of Frankenstein house is way better. It's, 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 a more, it's so much more uh, picturesque. Um, although, same thing happened this time. The people in front of me were walking too slow, so it triggered uh, the actors to come out really early. So I missed like three or four scares. I waited by the, uh, by the plexiglass for them to come back out, but they didn't. But it was still, still freaking amazing. Um, something that, that they did differently, they, they did not have the, the glow sticks this time. And uh, I, I kind of wish they did, but uh, I also kind of wish the employees were pushing the, the people through the queue because, yeah, so many people were walking way too slow and just taking their times in the rooms. Whoop, whoop. You know, I would try this, but I, I really want to try the, uh, the pizza fries, so I might have to pass on this truck. So I'm not much of a hat guy, but I really do like this Beetlejuice hat. It's got HHN on it, so it's a unique uh, collector's item. Some new face masks here. Earthquake, classic movie. E.T., I don't like that mask very much, but King Kong, oh yeah. This is kind of like the old Jaws ride. If you guys remember Confrontation. I got uh, two Confrontation masks, but it's a classic ride. Uh, Earthquake, a very another classic ride from Universal. And then this Frankenstein, this Frankenstein mask. What's going on over here, guys? I was hoping for some Velociraptors. Uh, there's the uh, Universal Squirrel right there. Man, there's a line to get into uh, Mythos, an award-winning uh, theme park restaurant. So back over there is where the Kung Fu Pandas are gonna be, the Kung Fu Panda characters. But I'm kind of like wandering back and forth between there and uh, Poseidon, because at some point, the Atlantean characters are gonna come out. And that's also a new character appearance but they should be right out there on that little uh, stage thing. And that's really cool. They have little uh, seahorses on this uh, on this chain here. It says exploration properties and 88. I wonder what the 88 is uh, 
significant for. Uh, nothing crazy this time. Here's the line for Hagrid's, I'm assuming. Pretty huge. Oh, look at that. They're working on the Velocicoaster. We've got some guys on this loop here. This would be a crazy coaster, guys. And uh, you can also see that uh, they are definitely working on this loop as well. So this is the better angle on the on the other loop. And this guy is working on something. No idea. Here we go. Let's see how wet they get. <laughs> I got a little wet. I've entered Sweet Haven, guys. It's always Tuesday for Wimpy's. That's it. Thanks. Thank you so much. So I got the uh, Wellington burger. Hmm. Fries are good. Apparently they use the same patty at Jurassic Park. But they said the big difference is they use a mustard ketchup here. Whereas Jurassic Park uses a bacon interior. So let me try those. Here's a better shot of what I'm eating here. This is the Wellington burger. It's a pretty meaty patty. Um, it was more pink on the other side, but you can see that the mayo on it. Pretty good burger, but there's not much of a difference between this and the Jurassic Park one. Again, the big difference is bacon on Jurassic Park, mayo ketchup on this one. But it's still a cool uh, atmosphere to have Wimpy's right there. Could you imagine sitting right there and accidentally eating one of those burgers? But now that I got the Wimpy's burger, I'll have to save the pizza fries for another day. I'm not going to eat again. Still not here yet. Where are they? I've been here like for hours and I can't find these freaking characters. Look at that, guys! Woo! Uh-oh, who is that, guys? Yeah! Hello again! Alright, guys, so I wasted about three hours today uh, waiting for these characters. I don't think they're coming out, so I'm gonna go back to Universal. Doing it again. I did Tooth Fairy again. I'm probably gonna do Bright again, too. It's such a short wait right now. Five minute wait for Bright of Frankenstein. I think that's the Bright of Frankenstein right there. Yeah. You guys see the AC units? They are really cool. Like when you walk by, it, it blows you with this gust of, of air. And it feels like you're, you're indoors when you pass them. I'm just getting right back on. This will be number six or seven times of Bride of Frankenstein. Oh man, it's amazing. Here are the, the cast changes. Probably for Tooth Fairy. Yeah, it's Tooth Fairy. You can tell by their, by their gowns. This is like number, number six or seven. Again, no line. It's a long path, but there's nobody in the line. So as you can see, five minute wait for Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. Also a five minute line for the other house. I could do these houses all day, no lines. Back here at the Horror Inc. inside the Tribute Store. In honor of the uh, Brighter Frankenstein house, I'm, I'm gonna get a Brighter Frankenstein shirt here. Let's get this one. So this is the only way you can get a guy's Bride of Frankenstein shirt. Unisex, hello. Oh, let's change the size to medium. Now, once I do order this, this will take an hour. I messed up. You gotta add to cart. Check out these Beetlejuice masks. So I just ordered the Bride of Frankenstein shirt. So they say come back in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go in the Tooth Fairy house again. You guys hear that, that air? That is coolness. Just got out of the Tooth Fairy house for like the fifth time. And that was the only time I waited because they're doing a cast change. So I waited about five minutes for that, for that one. The other houses, they say they're five minutes, but there has been no line on the other houses. It's like, I just walked this entire path, nobody in front of me. And here's a shirt order. Oh yeah, perfect. The line for Bright Frankenstein. Five minute line, totally doing it again. Look at this guy, there's nobody in line for Bride of Frankenstein. I can't believe no one's uh, jumping in line for this. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm leaving uh, the, the parking garage for Universal. And yeah, I did the, the Bride of Frankenstein house I think seven or eight times. I, I didn't really count today. And then I did the Tooth Fairy house about five times. Now, I love both houses. I think the Tooth Fairy house is a lot scarier, a lot creepier. But the Bride of Frankenstein house is so amazing in terms of the sets and it's, it's just cool the way that they, they bring that character to life. And I, I love hearing the, the old classic Bride of Frankenstein theme music from like the 30s or 40s. It's so amazing, especially the way that house opens up. But yeah, I did it like eight times, just, you know, I wanted to capture all the different nuances of the scares. And uh, I think my favorite scare 
it's one of these uh, these females. She opens up her little uh, clear her clear uh, uh, barrier, and then she like slings her sleeve at you. That is like the coolest thing ever. Um, but it was also cool seeing seeing the bride freak out whenever she failed at her experiment for for Frankenstein's monster. Um, but yeah, I, I could have just kept going all day. There was absolutely nobody in line today. Now, I don't know if that's going to change over the course of the week. It might be different tomorrow. But today, there was not a single person in line in front of me. There was only that one period where um, where the, the actor or, or the performers were, were changing, uh, changing uh, you know, cast. That was the only time I waited. But even then, there was nobody in front of me. I just had to wait for the cast to, to switch out. So, uh, that was really cool. Um, honestly, I, I would have stayed all day for, uh, for this event. Uh, but I was feeling really dehydrated. You know, I, I could have just went and got some water, but when I get dehydrated, I, I feel really bummed out for whatever reason. So, I just went to my car. I had, had like, a, a bottle of water to, to drink. Oh, and I got this shirt, which uh, I won't pull out since I'm driving. But uh, it's the Bride of Frankenstein shirt. You saw a clip of it when I was um, inside the tribute store. And it's really cool. Uh, yeah, the only way to get a male unisex uh, Bride of Frankenstein shirt is to go to the, the ink uh, machine inside the tribute store and you get to custom make it. Otherwise, the only other Bride of Frankenstein shirt for HHN is the, um, what do you call it? Is, is the female version. They don't have a male version of that shirt. And then they have some generic Bride of Frankenstein shirt which doesn't have HHN on it. I want one that says HHN on it. It's basically this same the same shirt, but instead of the the creature, it's got the bride, and it says her. It says, "My spine tingles for you." The creature says, "I'll die for you." So, it's it's kind of like pickup lines, but for monsters. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it was amazing doing these houses all day because during the preview week. It was a super packed, and then your, your time slot only gave you one time through the house once, for, for, through each house once. And it was fun, but I like going repeatedly through the houses. And I could have kept this up all the way until closing time if I wanted to. There was absolutely nobody in line today. But again, when you guys go, it might be a little different because people might, might pick up on what's happening, that there's no line, so they might start coming in masses. I don't know. Definitely the weekend's gonna be gonna be crazy because the weekends are always busy now, even during this pandemic time. But yeah, I, I do like the Bride of Frankenstein house a lot more. A uh, bride, ha the Bride of Frankenstein has a, a lot more of a sci-fi feel, sci-fi feel to it. It's not really scary, um, but there's some really cool surprises in there. But really, I like the sets in that, and I like the music. I like the loud screams. I, I love the way it opens. But yeah, it, it's more of a sci-fi uh, feel to it. So. Um, I'm really hoping that they, they open more houses because, you know, the, the big rumors are they're going to open up a few more houses, but they're all rumors, though. Um, so, yeah, well, hopefully they do more. I mean, I do like the two houses, but, man, open up two more. That'd be great. So that's all I want to say. Um, sorry that I, I got the Popeye and Bluto's uh, Wimpy's Wellington Burger. I was just so hungry, and I didn't want to walk all the way back to Universal Studios to pick up the, the pizza fries or the, the fried chicken brains. I, I didn't want to walk all the way out there. I was right next to Wimpy, so I just got that. So maybe next time I'll try to get the pizza fries. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, excursion. Oh yeah, sorry I didn't record the Atlantean citizens either from Poseidon. I waited there for two or three hours. They never came out, so I just gave up. I wanted to do the houses again.